Sure, you could hang a picture of your dog that you took on the wall, but how special would a hand-painted portrait of your furry <laughs> friend be? <laughs> Artist Scott Kenyon specializes in capturing the beauty of dogs, horses, and landscapes in custom-made oil paintings. He's joining us today along with Jackson the dog and Jackson's mom, Mary Beth Wisniewski. It's so nice to see the both of you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank for you. Thanks for having, having us here. Thank you. Jackson, you're adorable. Thank you for just kissing my feet. That's why I was looking down. And, um, I mean, the work is beautiful. That's Jackson right behind you? Yep, that's a painting of Jackson there that I started yesterday. You started yesterday. Yes. Really? Yep. <laughs> it's a, a remarkable. Yep. Thank you. All right, so you, were you always an artist, Scott? Or? I've been, yeah, I've been an artist pretty much most of my life. Um, through school. This good of an artist? Well, I wouldn't say this. <laughs> Maybe, it's a craft. You have to learn, right? But, but what is it? How do, what's your process like? Because you really, I think I look at these paintings and I feel like I can see the gentleness or the spunkiness. You see the dog's personalities. Mm -hmm. So what's your process to be able to capture that? Well, the first thing I do is uh, I communicate and reach out to the clients I work with the clients uh, who have a dog or are interested in getting a painting, painting done. And they usually send me photos, and what I do is I try to direct the client on getting a really good photo that really captures the spirit and likeness of the dog, and then uh, I work a lot to try to get that. Uh, We're looking at some of your work to here. To get that on the canvas. From, from start to finish, Scott, how long does it take to do a portrait? It depends on the size. Like if you look at this one over here, the larger one's gonna take a little longer just because it's a bigger, a bigger canvas. Um, and a lot of it determines on uh, the, the dog, too. Some dogs are a little easier to paint, some dogs are not. So it just... N now, when you say that, do the dogs model? Or? No, no, Okay, no. I was gonna say, no, that, that, yeah, that's a tough job. Yeah, that would be, I'd have to have a real fast brush <laughs> for that one. So, Mary Beth, when you wanted Jackson done, um, did you, I mean, how do you convey then, if you don't meet the dog, like the personality to capture that? Um. I think it's in a good photo that we would send to Scott. Um, many of our clients, with the event we're holding, uh, we ask them to send photos of their pet, and Scott's been generous enough to and paint them. Please share us with the, with the event with us. Yeah, we have an event happening tonight in Manchester, Ethan Allen, um, called Dogs and Decor, where uh, we'll feature That's Scott. So yeah, That's Scott great. Kenyon, the artist, <laughs> and of course, um, we are also have in conjunction with um, two rescues um, tonight. Will be our companions. Um, oh. Will be with us as well. Thank will they come with dogs? We can take home with a couch. Um, our companions, <laughs> I think, will not have dogs. But tomorrow in Canton, uh, Dog Star Rescue will have dogs with them. Oh. That is so, so great. Yeah, yeah. We, we, so you're you're a work in uh, Jackson's a work in progress. Jackson what do you is a work in progress. progress. What do you yes. think so far? Oh, it looks it looks gorgeous. Right. Hard, yeah, well, hard it's kind of hard not to paint a beautiful yeah. picture. Of yeah. Jackson, he's a beautiful yeah, he's dog. Yeah, he's a really good dog. The, the medium that you use is always... Oil, it's o oil paint. Always oil. Yep, oil's oil paint. I do work in charcoal, but most of the paintings are done in oil paint. And you're from Michigan. Do you tour around the country doing this? Well, this last year I have. Uh, we've, we've come to Connecticut. We're going to California in a month. We're gonna, we call it the tour of our, our uh, Scott Kenyon Fire and Art. Load up the, the car with all the the instruments and go go do our thing and then move on to the next one. But yeah, we've been uh, we're going to California, we've been to North Carolina, mm -hmm. Chicago area. So we'll probably end up hitting the whole United States eventually, so. Is a um, less hairy dog easier than a hairy dog? <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, like it, a... yeah, yeah, and sometimes it, they, sometimes the painting, we always say the painting paints itself. You start painting and then hopefully it just kind of comes together, but sometimes, it doesn't, so you have to do what I call, I have to problem solve and try to figure out, okay, how am I gonna, how am I gonna make this work? And then the last thing too with, uh, with the paintings is, is what I always tell people is, is, is the client, towards the end of the painting, usually finishes the painting because I communicate with the, the client, I send them a picture of the painting and I see, and I ask them, well, what do you think? Mm. Because they have the final say. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, you and some, have that kind of yeah, uh, it's their painting, it's their dog, okay. they have a relationship with the dog, so they know exactly what, what they want. So most of the time it works out pretty good. I have had times where I've had to, you know, redo something or change something, which I'm fine with. Yeah. Right? Um, but most of the time it's, and with it's sharp, okay. we understand with sharpays you charge by the wrinkle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you do cats too. I've done cats. I've had people commission me to do their cats or their or cat cats. and their dog together. Yeah, dog, mm. cat, and dog yeah. together. So I pretty okay. much 
can do anything, really. Well, thank you both for being here. Well, thank you. Thanks for having us on. All right, and again, if you would like to have Scott do a portrait of your dog, he is doing them in about uh, 15 minutes at the Ethan Allen store in Manchester, where there's also a reception featuring food and drink. He will be there until 8 o'clock tonight, and tomorrow he will be at the Canton Ethan Allen store from noon until 4. There is a charge for a portrait of your pet, but it's half of what he normally charges. That's pretty good. Yeah, thank you. So thank much for you. Doing that. That's awesome. You. All right, you're going to find more of Scott's artwork on his website, scottkenyonfineart.com. You can also place an order for a painting of your pet. Scott also posts his art on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, just search Scott Kenyon Fine Art.